25th March this year, we have the lunar eclipse, the first lunar eclipse of 2024 in the Pisces Virgo axis, which means the sun will be in Pisces and moon will be in the sign of Virgo with Ketu. All right. So there's a very powerful eclipse. And today I will list down the astrological details first. And then I will give 10 insights, which will consist of dates which will be good for India and bad for India <clears throat> and also for USA then remedies then do's and don'ts which are very important for this eclipse all right why because this is the eclipse in the 612 axis of the Kalpurush Kundli okay very 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 powerful axis so do not take this lightly so now if you go into the astrological details the sun is in Pisces, moon will be in Virgo, in Hasta Nakshatra. The sun, of course, is in Uttar Bhadrapada. Then, regarding the other details, Mercury is also there along with Rahu with the sun. So, Mars is in 7 degrees of Aquarius. Then you have Mercury in 29 degrees of Pisces. It is about to go and join Jupiter in the sign of Aries the next day. And Jupiter is in 21 degrees of Aries till 1st of May. And then Venus is in 22 degrees of Aquarius. Uh, so Venus, Mars and Saturn, they are conjunct. They are in 12th uh, to this house from the sun and from the moon, they are in the 6th house. Okay. And then Saturn, of course, is in uh, Shatabhisha Nakshatra in Aquarius. So Rahu is in Pisces in Revati and Ketu is in Hasta Nakshatra in Virgo. All right. Very, very, very interesting uh, the distance is around 10 degrees from the moon. So therefore, it is quite a prominent eclipse. Okay. So now, what does this eclipse signify? Eclipses signify completions. Okay. They, they are not new beginnings. Uh, the lunar eclipses. Okay. Those solar eclipses are new beginnings and lunar eclipses are completions because lunar eclipses happen. <coughs> this lunar eclipse specifically is happening when the full moon is there. Okay. So this full moon will bring in completions. Okay. So that means around 25th March, there could be completion of certain things which you have been working on from your past. All right. So therefore, now we are going to discuss 10 interesting insights. Okay. So the first insight that we have already discussed, this can complete things or it can give you some frustration also. Okay. Which means uh, completions or endings. Okay. So not only completion, there could also be endings. Okay. Because ending is also completion <laughs> okay of some sort so therefore you need to understand that this is very 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 important that you take some uh, you you have some backup uh, i already made the video yesterday on mars saturn conjunction that that effect will also be there so it, it is an intense eclipse and you might feel the energy and i am feeling the energy from now itself so the second this the second third and fourth points are good good and bad periods for india and usa okay so if you talk from india's perspective now uh, from today till 13th of april i see is uh, relatively a good time good time in the sense you know investments can come in uh, there could be a lot of money which flows into the country okay and uh, the third insight is from 13th april to 25th june it could be a very volatile period and also 11th August this year to 9th of September. So these two dates are very critical for India because there could be violence, there could be uh, disruptions, there could be law and order problems, you know, there, there could be uh, issues where uh, people are either uh, having some kind of loss or uh, some property is getting burned or you know police or some small skirmish in the border or something like that could happen in these dates okay so uh, if you are going to sensitive areas for some work during these periods i'll repeat 13 april to 25th june or 11th august to 9th of september then be watchful and be careful take some backup and then go all right so for example during these dates if you have planned for long travel the roads or all this could be jammed okay or train there could be delays and all this okay so then point number four is for usa the united states of america 24th june to 7th of november it 
it will be a very volatile period okay if, uh, things could go out of control to extreme uh, it could be a bit difficult for the current establishment to handle things uh, so therefore if again you are in the us and you have some prominent plants during this period which is almost half the year like almost five months it could be a bit critical okay so be watchful of these periods and take precautions accordingly now number five this is the remedy you have to you must you need to you you should <laughs> please whenever there is an eclipse especially a lunar eclipse please chant this mantra Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya and because in this in this eclipse Mercury is also involved because the moon is in the sign of Mercury <clears throat> and the sun and the sun is in the sign of Jupiter so Jupiter and Mercury are involved so this mantra is for Mercury and number six remedy is for Jupiter very 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 important so for Jupiter you should chant Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya this mantra very 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 important because there could be confusion there could be uh, like you know there, there, there could be blockage inside okay so that blockage will be cleared if you chant these two mantras these two mantras are exclusively for uh, Jupiter and your Mercury all right so if you have any dasha, any transit, any horoscope, any placement, please chant these two mantras, okay? So the number seventh insight is during the day of the eclipse, which is on 25th, please try to take bath three times, okay? If possible, try to get up at the Brahma Murat, if possible for you, and take a bath in the Brahma Murat before sunrise. And then when the sun is in the noon, 12 around that time, you again take a bath. And then when it is evening, that time you should again take a bath, okay? <clears throat> so to whatever extent possible, if you have job, if you are, uh, if you have other engagements, try to do it at least two times, okay? And minimum, you must take bath on this day once, okay? Please don't stay this day without taking bath. I know most of us do, but there are some people who don't. So for them, it it is not recommended, all right? And... The bath also you should preferably take in cold water, okay? But at least you should take a bath three times a day. Number eight, on this day, you should avoid getting any very crucial uh, advice from people or, you know, trying to do some important registration or trying to do something where there are long-term things like, you know, marriage or Griha Pravesh or buying your car or registering your company or anything. Anything which can have long-term repercussions or repairing something, you know, uh, some kind of uh, your car repair, house repair. So things could go wrong on this day. So if you, if it is absolutely necessary, only then you should do it. Otherwise, if you can push it for 24th or 26th, then please do it accordingly. Okay, 27th or 24th is even better because the next day also there is some uh, volatile energy of the eclipse. Now, also, if you, as I said, for important advice, if you have to go to some counselor or some astrologer, maybe reschedule your appointment on this day. Okay, not the best day to do all this. Now, number nine, if possible. Now, this, if you can do, is best. Okay, if you can't, then it's still fine, but do as per your own level. So, best is if you completely fast. You do nirjal fasting, no food, no water. If you can't, then do with sajal, which is just take water and don't take anything the whole day or if you can't then take water and fruits if you still can't take water fruits and ekadashi ekadashi food which is food without grains okay even that you can't do then you take grains okay but on this day please 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 try to do fasting to whatever extent possible and also for the next six months from march to september because the eclipse energy stays you should try to do fasting once a week okay so you can choose uh, your lagna lord's day for example you are uh, virgo ascendant then try to fast on wednesdays okay or if you are taurus ascendant then try to fast on fridays okay so therefore this is very important so once a week every every six month uh, every week for the next six months very 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 important and number 10 uh, you should avoid anything which uh, puts you more into the material consciousness okay 
and especially uh, avoid sinful activities. So when it when it comes to material consciousness, of course, uh, please avoid sexual union during this day. It also the day previous and the next day. So 24, 25, 26, please avoid it. Um, and if you're planning like if you're married, childbirth and all this planning you are doing, not the best days. Okay, push it for the next two, three days. Then, of course, please avoid taking meat also, then fish and eggs, anything which has life, which has the potential to give life, okay, or which is um, taken after some animal is killed, you know, like meat, not very best. And also avoid alcohol and um, please refrain from watching adult material in the internet. Do not go for gambling and also preferably try to avoid onion and garlic that can also backfire okay so do not take too much rajasic food on this date now take very simple food you know simple vegetarian meal uh if at all you want to take okay but best is to fast if you can fast that is absolutely uh amazing okay so try to fast if you can't then uh, follow the things which i said okay uh, as per your uh, capacity all right, ladies and gentlemen, wish you all the best for the eclipse. This too shall pass. And if you are new, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and share this video with somebody who wants to know what they can expect during the eclipse. And for consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Thank you.